Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. I really appreciate you guys taking a few minutes out of your day to watch the video. And as the video talked about today, guys, um, we're going to talk a little bit about how anglers that are at the top of their game right now, these marquee pros, you know, the really top anglers, that um, their success that they're having right now, or the success that any top angler has during their career is something that's temporary and something that's fleeting. And what I want to try to do is I, this is this I don't this video is not to meant to be like a negative video. I want to give these people some tips and advice on what they can do to sort of mentally prepare for that and mentally handle it because it's something that happens to everybody. So real quick before we get started here, just wanted to give everybody the weekly reminder. If you guys haven't had a chance to check out our fish the moment lake map breakdowns, go check them out. I'll include the link in the description here. We got myself, Johnny Schultz, Matt Steffen making lake map breakdowns of all the lakes across the country. If you want to learn more about your favorite lake, if you want to get some good spots on the new lake, uh, that's the place for it. So check them out at the link at fishthemoment.com. Okay, guys, let's talk a little bit about this. I, I can talk about this from my own personal experience and observations throughout my career. What happens here is in fishing, you've got a time frame. Usually it's some, somewhere between your late 20s to late 30s where you're at the top of your game and everybody and you're fishing really good and you're winning and you, you just everything's clicking what happens is a lot of guys when they get into that groove where they become a top level angler um, they lose sight of how special that is to be at that pinnacle of the sport and they tend to get cocky and arrogant a little bit it's not confident everybody says well it's a confidence it's not it's a cockiness and it's an arrogance that comes with success and um, what happens is inevitably those anglers, as they start getting close to 50 years old, they start sort of going down the tubes and it happens to everybody, happens to absolutely everybody. So let's look at Kevin Van Dam, arguably the greatest bass fisherman in the history of the sport. And um, 15, 20 years ago when, you know, he was at the top of the Bass Fan World Rankings for, God, for eight or 10 years and nobody could even touch him. And I remember thinking about this guy is just nobody's ever going to be able to touch him. And ever since Kevin hit 50 years old, he sort if you look at his statistics, he's sort of just like an average angler now. And at one time, you know, he was, well, he, like I said, he's probably the greatest fisherman that ever lived. But at one time, he was untouchable during that time frame that I'm talking about. This is something that happens with everybody. This is something that is a, a natural process. Please come on. Come on. Let's get a little sage in here. That's, this is something that's a natural process um, that nobody's been able to transcend. And one of the things that is sort of like irritating to me is I hear some of these guys that are at the top of their game, like right now, and back when, you know, guys were at their top of the game, when I was at the top of my game, and they'll have like a, you know, a 12th or 15th place finish, and they'll say something that's like, man, man I just... I'm really disappointed in my finish here. It's like, I, you know, I just, I'm not happy with it. Or they'll finish fifth place in Angler of the Year and they'll say, man, I just, it was just, I didn't fish any good at all. Guys, that is nothing but arrogance and cockiness. And people need to rethink the way that they perceive success because a lot of people, guys, they would give their left nut to have what some of the marquee pros consider a bad season just one time. You have got to be thankful and grateful for the success that you experience. All you dudes out there right now that are at the top of your game and, uh, you know, you think you're bulletproof and invincible, it's not going to be that way. It's going to slowly start slipping away from you. And once you start hitting, you know, your mid to late 40s, around 50 years old, your performance is going to start going downhill. And it's not to say that you can't still do well and win tournaments, but you're not going to be at the top of the game or, or at the top of the mountain like you are right now. Here's the advice I want to give you guys, because it's not, even though I'm, I'm not trying to, to make this sound like doom and gloom because it's part of the cycle of life. It's a natural occurrence. It's not anything that's bad. It's just part of life in general. First of all, you have to, there's two different elements here. You have to be grateful and appreciate the success that you have and tap, tap down that cockiness and arrogance that you think is confidence because it's not. Be grateful, be humble. If you have a, you know, whatever your finish is, just be extremely grateful for that. 
And when your performance starts to go downhill, and it will go downhill, mark my words, you have got to, to look at that and you've got to approach that with positivity and thankfulness and gratitude and look at it as something that's bigger than what it is. And what happens is once, you, once your performance starts going downhill, you got to transcend and you, the natural thing that you can do is if you've been a top level pro for years, just, just start focusing your energy more on passing your knowledge and teaching down to the next generation. That is something that's going to be just as, as fulfilling or rewarding to you as performing high in a tournament. And a lot of people fight that. I see a lot of guys now, there, there's, there's some pros out there now that are in their 60s and 70s that just won't let it go. They just won't realize the fact that it's part of the life. They're just never going to be as good as they used to. And to gracefully make that transition from a top level competitor to like a, a mentor as a teacher, that type of thing. So um, I just wanted to throw that out there because I've noticed that it's not not necessarily I've noticed it any more than I did back, you know, when I was fishing at the top of my game because I think it's the same everywhere. But uh, I think a lot of people, they just get so wrapped up in their own world and their own performance and their own greed for success that they don't take a chance to, they don't take a, a time to step back and be humble for the uh, the success that they have had because a lot of people are never going to get that opportunity. So if you're one of those guys out there that's fishing at the top of your game and you're winning lots of money and you win tournaments, don't rub it in people's faces when you do good or don't do good. Just be grateful and humble because you're going to start going down the tubes like everybody else does. It's inevitable. What happens is, you know, as you get older, you get more responsibilities in life. You have more of, in, you have injustices piled up on you from tournament fishing over the years. You know, you get a little bitter and resentful. You get locked into some of your ways. Um, you get burned out a little bit on the traveling or the competitive part of it. You know, physically, your eyesight goes down, maybe your coordination, all that type of stuff. It's just part of life, man. You, it, don't look at it as something negative. Look at it as an experience. Everybody goes through cycles of life. We all have stages of life. If you're fortunate enough to live from being young to being an old person like that, consider yourself fortunate and just embrace every season that you have and don't fight it. And I see that, I see people fighting it all too common. So anyway, guys, just a few thoughts here. I wanted to throw that out there. Hope you guys are doing good and we'll talk later.